Hey guys, I'm really excited to share with you the October Darby Smart box. Darby Smart has amazing DIYs and how-to videos on their website as well as their app. So I cannot wait to see what the October box has for us. So let's get started. In the box, there is a piece of paper that basically just explains what this month's box is about. So today we are going to be learning some hand lettering. On the back, it tells us what is actually included in this box, which are Prisma Dual Tip markers that are in this maker pouch. And then there's also some Bristol paper that you can find in here, along with a hand lettering basic guide, which you can see on the back. Now there is a website that you can go to to just access the how-to video and this is basically just going to show you how easy it is to recreate this. Now also remember that they do have an app so definitely make sure to download that as well. Everything will be listed down in the description bar. So in the maker pouch as I mentioned before there are two Prisma dual markers and one side has a thicker side as you can see right here and then there is one that is just more of a fine tooth type of tip. Taking our piece of paper and just remember practice makes perfect. I found that it's easier to use the thicker tipped side and I'm just going to kind of just do some random letterings to practice. Now, I don't have the best handwriting, but like I said, practice makes perfect. I decided to cut the paper up into little cards that I can use as seating cards for Thanksgiving, and also a great way to show off my hand lettering skills. First seating card is going to be perfect for this upcoming Thanksgiving and basically I just took four decorative leaves and just kind of placed them on top of each other as you can see I'm doing right here and then taking my hot glue gun I'm just going to make sure that all of the leaves are fused together with the glue. Then just topping it off with our cute place card and this is such a great and easy way to just jazz up this Thanksgiving dinner. Then taking some silver paper or any paper of your choice and you want to put the right side facing down. Then just take anything that is of a small circle and I just use the top of my jewelry box and I'm just going to draw out about three circles. Then what you want to do is you want to fold them in half, making sure that the right sides are facing each other. I then just took a Q-tip and cut off the cotton edges and taking this elephant clip, I'm just going to hot glue and infuse the two together. Once the piece has dried, then you want to take that and just insert it and glue it onto one of those circles. We're now just going to glue all of those circles together. You may have to clip off some of the bottom just to make sure that everything is even and flat. 